So today I'm going to show you how to use Discord on your uh, Quest 2 and or Quest 3 while playing your favorite games. Whether you're climbing a dangerous mountain, taking good care of your pet alien, saving the world yet again or embarking on a magical adventure, you'll be able to stay connected with your best friends at all times. So with that said, let's get started shall we? First, put on your headset and uh, once it's booted up, navigate to the Quest's uh, browser and search for Discord in the top navigation bar. When you arrived at Discord's official landing page, you'll be prompted to log in. In my opinion, the quickest way is to skip the traditional username and password combination and scan the QR code instead. In this case, all you have to do is grab your phone, open the Discord app and in the settings tap on the QR code scanner. Take off your quest for a brief moment and slide your phone inside to activate it. Just make sure to keep the face cover on so you don't damage the lenses. That's it! When you put the headset back on, you should see all the servers and their chats now. Before you can start calling someone though, you have to first enable your microphone. To do this, go to your profile in the bottom left corner and click on the red microphone symbol. This should let you give permission to Discord to use your headset's microphone. Now, if you do run into issues here and seeing a message saying microphone access denied, then to fix that, you want to click on the green lock icon next to the search bar. This should give you a second chance at enabling it. Last, if clicking on the microphone icon doesn't do anything at all, I would recommend going into your settings. Head over to privacy and safety, permissions, microphone, find the browser and flip the switch. This 99% of the time fixes your issues. There you go, congrats, you're then ready to jump into a call. My friends are always surprised when I tell them I'm calling from within mixed and virtual reality, which is pretty funny. What's nice is that you can minimize the browser and have Discord run in the background while playing your games. Although there are a few things that are important to be aware of once you launched into your favorite title. Listen up, so first of all you can open the browser at any time to check on a message that was sent by your friend you're speaking to. But sadly, you can't share your screen to show them what you're playing, simply because the quest has not been built to do that kind of stuff. However, the person on the other side of the line can, which is, well, better than nothing. When people seem to have uh, troubles hearing you uh, properly, it might help to dive into Discord's audio settings. Here you can tweak things like the sensitivity of your microphone and so much more. Oh, and don't forget, you can bookmark Discord. This is handy if you don't want to look it up every time you go back into the headset. If you, let's say, don't feel like talking to people, then you can of course chat too. Thanks to the virtual keyboard, you can always stay in touch. Hopefully, in the future, you can text with your speech as well, as this is a much quicker method. Next to that, you can send screenshots you took inside the game to show what you're up to. Just make sure to give permission to your quest to share files with the Discord, because otherwise this doesn't work at all. It's worth highlighting that when you walk out of your boundaries to, for example, check on the pizza in the oven or grab a drink out of the fridge, Discord will continue running in the background and you can just speak to the person in chat. Only when you take off the headset, the call bugs out and your microphone stops working, resulting into having to completely rejoin the call. The big elephant in the room, or should I say monkey, is that when you hop into a multiplayer session, the microphone in Discord will automatically automatically turn itself off, so it can be used to talk to people in game. What this means is that you can't have the microphone active in two places at the same time. So you will have to choose between talking to your in-game friends or the ones that are hanging on Discord. And there you go, that's all you need to know about using Discord on Quest 2 and Quest 3. Make sure to join my server if you haven't already, there's a link in the description below. Over there we chat about everything VR and more. And um, now it's time for me to, well, sign off. Until next time and uh, bye bye for now.